everyone. My name's Sarah and I'm one of the exercise physiologists here at BJC Health. So being an EP here, we have a number of ways in which we help people get started with their exercise. So we run group sessions, we also provide one-on-one -on -one training sessions. But another popular choice for people to get started is just to start getting moving more at home. And so initially, although this might mean you don't need any equipment, Eventually, if this habit's a good one for you, uh, eventually we're gonna need to find ways to help you progress that home exercise program. So I'm gonna take you through today my ultimate shopping list when you need to buy some more equipment or get some ideas for how to make your home program that little bit more challenging. This is what I suggest people start looking for. So my first recommended piece of kit is a TRX or a suspension trainer. So these are really versatile and these are fantastic when you're just starting out with some strength training. And as you can see, there's no weight to this uh, strap or this piece of kit. And so at home, you can loop it over things like tree trunks, banisters, railings, and it can be a wonderful thing to help you build up your squats, your lunges. This can also be used to modify some great upper body exercises. And while we also love it here in the clinic is you can also do some really cool things for mobility with this piece of kit. So um, really versatile, Kmart now sells a version of this for just $20. So uh, it's a bargain and we can use this in a number of ways to help your home program uh, keep progressing, but also to help it become a little bit more interesting. So the second piece of kit which I often suggest is a set of dumbbells. So if your home exercise program typically starts with body weight exercises, so you might already be doing things like toe taps, crab walks, squats, uh, different types of upper body exercises, then one way we like to progress these movements is to obviously add some weight. So when people are getting started and they're asking me, well, what sort of dumbbells should I get? Uh, is one or two kilos okay? Most of the time the answer to that question is no, you need something a little bit heavier to actually provide the right type of progression for your muscles. So I like to suggest normally a set of five kilos as a starting point. Again, you can also pick these up from Kmart now uh, quite cheaply. The other option which I also like to suggest is an adjustable set of dumbbells. So different to this one which is a fixed weight, uh, this is only ever going to be five kilos. An adjustable set you can make different weights. So you might start it out at five kilos, but then it can go up to seven and a half, 10 kilos. And so that's gonna last you quite a while and provide you with multiple options for progression as you get stronger. So typically the third and final thing I mention to clients when they're starting to shop for some new equipment to make their home program more exciting is basically go freestyle. So again, we've got a number of options in places like Kmart, discount stores these days, which often sell a range of different uh, fitness and active stuff. So really choose anything that takes your fancy and your health professional should find a way to build that into your program. So. Some examples are sliders. Uh, so we use these in the clinic quite a little bit. They can add a nice little bit of resistance to things like mountain climbers, can also be used for mobility work. Um, I've got a power band here as well. So these you can pick up for a bargain as well. Uh, we all love our crab walks, but these can also be used in a number of ways to modify the sorts of exercises you might be doing from home. So there you have it. Uh, if you've been doing some exercise at home, well done. We know how difficult it can be to keep that habit up. Um, but don't be afraid if your program starts feeling a little bit easier, a little bit boring. Hopefully this video has given you some options for how to uh, keep progressing that program and also to keep it nice and interesting.